Oh, okay. Okay. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow members, and guest Dina, today I'd like to take an opportunity to share with you a little bit about myself. I'm from Ionia, Michigan, and if you know anything about Ionia, you probably know it for one of three reasons. One, you're probably familiar with all the state correctional facilities that Ionia has. Two, you probably are aware that Ionia is home to the world's largest free fair, which I affectionately refer to as the Freak Fair. <laughs> or three, you may have heard about Ionia on a CNN broadcast three summers ago when the Grand River flooded its banks during a country music festival and 1,200 people and their vehicles were stranded. I was born and raised in Ionia, and I hated Ionia when I was growing up. There were virtually no activities for school-aged kids to participate in outside of school, and it was too big to be a small town and too small to be a big city. But I had goals and I had dreams and they were gonna take me far, far away from Ionia. When I was little, I wanted to be a horse jockey. Didn't have a horse, didn't live on a farm, knew nothing about horses, and never even been on a horse. But I was determined to be a horse jockey. When I was eight, my uncle had asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up. And I told him, I wanna be a horse jockey. I'm gonna win the Kentucky Derby and I'm gonna be the first female to win the Triple Crown. I was gonna be a horse jockey. Well, my uncle, sympathetic as he was, snickered a little bit, measured me with his imaginary tape measure, and said, honey, I hate to break it to you, but you're already too tall for that. <laughs> so that's when I decided I wanted to be a marine biologist. One trip to SeaWorld and I was hooked. I loved the water, and I already swam with fish in the lake at the cabin that we vacationed at. So what would be wrong with swimming with dolphins and orcas and sea lions? That would be really cool. Well, that career path lasted about to the time that I was in high school in my first biology class. <laughs> and we had to dissect a frog. No way. So now what? Two years to college. I spent 14 years thinking that I was going to be either a jockey or a biologist. But I was too tall to be a jockey, and I was too queasy to be a biologist. Well, another passion that I had at the time was taking pictures and writing stories. And I thought that would be a good way to move into my next career path. Journalism was what it was gonna be. I was already on the high school newspaper and yearbook staffs, and I really enjoyed that, so journalism was the choice. I could major in that in college and it would still get me far, far away. And who wouldn't wanna write for National Geographic or maybe People or Time or the Wall Street Journal? I thought that would be really cool and it would still get me away from Ionia. Well, high school graduation time came and I was finally able to leave Ionia when I attended Ferris State University for college. I got my associate's degree in journalism, my bachelor's degree in technical and professional communications. <clears throat> I got two summer internships at Ford and GM in the Detroit, the greater Detroit metro area, and I was able to reinforce my desire to never be in Ionia again. The endless opportunities that that area, <clears throat> excuse me, that area offered with, offered with limitless, um, excuse me, opportunities of nightlife, entertainment, culture, history was amazing and I loved it. And I was finally living the life I wanted to leave and it was not in Ionia. <laughs> well, it only took a small turn of events for me to discover what was important and what wasn't important in my life. In a matter of four weeks, my life turned completely upside down. I was heartbroken and left with no place to live in a city that I knew very little people. My 17-year-old sister was at the wrong place at the wrong time, ended up being a victim of a gunshot wound that left her a quadriplegic. And my grandmother had decided she was done with all of her cancer treatments and was going into home hospice. Four weeks earlier, Ionia was the last place I wanted to be, but at that point in time, Ionia was the only place I wanted to be. So I packed up my stuff and I moved home to Ionia to help my family with my sister and my grandmother. And I've been there ever since. Today, I raised my own family in Ionia. And even though at one point in time I thought I was high society in Ionia because I had all my teeth and a college education, <laughs> home really is where the heart is, no matter where it is on the map. <clears throat> 